social committee at a high school conducted a survey to find out how much students spend per head on, a, on the annual school ball. They found that the amount spent rounded to the nearest hundred dollar had the probability distribution given by the following table. We want to calculate the mean amount spent per student and the standard deviation. Now, here this is the amount spent uh, in a near, uh, rounding to the nearest hundred dollars and this is the probability. So what does this mean is, what this means is the probability that a person, a student spends 100 is 0.05 or in terms of percentage, 5% of the students are spending $100. Okay, 35%, 200, 30%, 300 and so on. So from this uh, information, we want to calculate the mean and the standard deviation. So as this is a random uh, variable, so this is the formula E expected value of a random variable x. This is your random variable x. So this is your random variables and generally you can see this is P, uh, xi and this is probability of xi. So the formula to find the expected value of a random variable is sigma i from 1 to n from 1 to n sigma uh, i runs from 1 to n of xi times the respective probability. So basically to find the mean, uh, you are multiplying these two and adding. Okay, so basically what we do is 100 times, 100 times 0 0.05 plus 200 times 200 times 0 0.35 plus 4, 300 times 0 0.3 and so on. Okay, and uh, if you keep on adding, it is plus 700 times 0 0.05 will give you the uh, expected value. So let's use the calculator. So this is, uh, let me delete this, so this is 100. 100 times 0 0.05 plus 200 times 0 0.35 plus 300 times 0 0.3 plus 400 times 0 0.2 plus 500 times 0 0.05. This will not give you any probabilities. I'm not doing that. Plus 700 times 0.05. Okay, that will give you $305. So you can see on an average, students are spending $305. See, the neat thing about this is, though we don't know the actual number of students who are spending $100 or $200, we only know the probability. So this basically is nothing but sigma xi over n. In one of the videos I've explained this and this are one and the same. Now to get to variance or the standard deviation, so let me first explain variance. Variance, uh, to find standard deviation, standard deviation is nothing but the square root of <coughs> variance. Square root of variance is standard deviation by definition. And by definition variance, <coughs> variance of x is given by this formula, <coughs> excuse me, sigma uh, i running from 1 to n of uh, x, x minus, or you can say xi, this is xi minus mu, which is, this is your mu, this is your mu, expected value is your mu, or which is your population. So squared times uh, probability of xi. That will give you variance and then you find the square root of that uh, which will give you the standard deviation. So variance of x, so variance of x would be, uh, so what we're going to do is, so your random variable is 100 minus your 
mean a uh, population mean is mu this 305 squared times uh, the respective probability which is 0 0.05 0 0.05 plus again 200 minus 305 the whole squared times the respective probability which is 0 0.35 and so on so if you add all these together plus dot 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 plus 700 minus 305 the whole squared times the respective probability which is 0 0.05 0 0.05 okay so yeah so let me cancel this so I have worked this out you can check it yourself if you find the variance uh, if you calculate the variance of X would be 17,475 so the variance is this number and from this you can find the standard deviation SD of X would be square root of 17,475 so let's use the calculator so this is 17 shift square root of 17,475 will give you $132 in a completed. So if you want to round it to the nearest uh, dollar, it's $132. Okay. So the standard deviation is 132, and the mean of this uh, this data is $305.